that tilapia almost got me, and it ripped out my arm and leg. It hurts so much. <sighs> you barely escaped. I'm so glad you're fine, but you'll have to live with only two limbs now. Don't worry, in a month or two, you'll have a brand new one. Regeneration is our superpower. What do you mean by regeneration? I've never heard of it. Slow regeneration is a remarkable biological adaptation that typically allows the lamander species such as Zaxolotl to fully recover from severe injuries. Developed over a long period of natural selection for environmental pressures, these unique abilities provide adaptive advantages, which allows animals to be more capable of escaping predation and repairing damage in competitive survival environments. While the position of regeneration varies between species, body parts as simple as a lizard's tail to complex organs such as the heart tissue of neonatal mice can all be regenerated within a span of several months. These processes involve precise cellular and genetic mechanisms, most of which scientists are just beginning to understand. This miraculous process all begins from the amputation of a limb. Within several hours, Skin cells that group in the wound epidermis develop over the injured sites to prevent infection. Nerve signals from the injured site first trigger the differentiation of cells, where mature cells like muscle and connective tissues are reprogrammed to lose their specialization and return to an early state. These stem cells further migrate to the site of amputation to form the stemma of rapidly dividing cells. The most remarkable of all is the combination of bodily signals specific to the regenerative species that orchestrates the process, such as the bone morphogenic proteins that control the stem growth, and Hox genes responsible for positional memory, ensuring that the mute limb mirrors original size and mass. Within a few weeks, the blastema redifferentiates, forming a fully functional limb, complete with reconstructed bones and joints, and a compact yet precise neuromuscular system in a short span of around 50 days. Perhaps more shocking is the fact that acetylosol are also capable of regenerating brain tissue, following a similar process as limb regeneration buffs. This time, however, neural stem cells proliferate and move to the damaged site. This is followed by the activation of ependymoglial cells, which restores lost neurons and functional brain circuits. 16 paranoia filled days later. My new arm is growing. Are we the only ones with this superpower? Far from it. Let's meet the nature's self repair superstars. Salamanders, Exolotl's closest cousins. They use the same blastema system, differentiating cells to rebuild limbs, just like Exolotl's. Starfishes, the arm architects. They use WNT signaling, like Exolotl's limb tip genes, to regrow entire arms from tiny fragments. Chameleons, the tail specialists. But their new tails are weaker, just cartilage, no spinal cord. Axolotls rebuilt fully functional limbs. Then why can't human regrow limbs like us? Well, human limbs are much more complex. Their cells prioritize rapid wound healing over regeneration. Good for quick survival, bad for regrowth. While axolotls can reassess developmental programs by activating genes like shocks and retinoid acid pathways to regenerate, humans tend to scar instead. But I heard scientists are now using axolotl DNA to reactivate these pathways. Regenerative medicine could potentially revolutionize the way humans are treated within a few decades. Four to six weeks later. Oh no, my right arm grew back, but my left foot won't. Why is that? Kid, even superpowers have rules that are limits to your regeneration power. When your wound is too close to your body, shoulders or hips won't regenerate. And when your nerves are damaged, there won't be signals sent to the brain, thus no regrowth. The same spot cut repeatedly, eventually your regeneration power at that spot fails. Older axolotls like me often have slower and less perfect regeneration power. We cannot wait to see what this unique regeneration power holds for future medical breakthroughs. We may only be a few steps away until regenerational medicine helps completely regrow amputated limbs in animals, just like that of axolotls.